what is up youtube hope you're having a really good day today wherever you are in this world my name is ben and in today's video we're going to be talking about some of the top niches that i have found for this coming easter period and also why this is a perfect time for why you should be starting to publish easter books and of course if you do like videos like this please hit the like button for me hit the subscribe if you want more content on self-publishing other than that let's get into this video now of course if you're thinking to yourself why have i clicked on an easter video while it's january or february then here is the reason why essentially essentially if we go onto amazon all the answers are going to be there for us we're just going to go on this random book that i found earlier because this shows a perfect example as to why we're talking about easter now so essentially if we scroll down we're going to get this lovely little graph that comes up from helium 10 this is a free chrome extension by the way so anyone can get this um, and if we just go on the 30-day chart here you can see that not too much is actually happening you can see well every little dip here represents a sale of the book so the more frequent they are the more this book sales in a given period so you can see generally it's selling sometimes um, the rank is in the six figures for the most part and it may have made a few dollars maybe 10 20 30 dollars in the month of, of january so far but if we you know scale out and go from the 30-day chart here all the way to the one year chart for example then the whole dynamic changes if we backtrack you know all the way to march and april this book has been going absolutely crazy and you can see it started going really really well in fact if we just go on all time just to demonstrate you can see that we're getting a similar pattern here it started selling a little bit in the january period and then come february the sales start doing better and better there's a few little peaks here in the what looks like the valentine's day period but then past that little period there towards the end of february onwards this goes absolutely crazy. So the reason you have clicked on this video now is because you don't want to be publishing your book, you know, sometime here because, you know, a lot of people would have already bought their Easter books. Essentially, some other publisher is getting the royalties that should be going to you. So you want to get your books out realistically by mid-February sometime, if not earlier than that. If you're publishing in March and April, then it is a little bit too late for you. You do want to bear this in mind for the next season of niches that come up. But ideally, for niches like Easter, for niches like Christmas, you want to be publishing months in advance. So for Easter, which is in April this year, the 17th of April, you want to be publishing your books in January and February at the best. So now we've addressed that, we're just going to talk so just briefly explaining what easter is easter is a christian holiday and the date for easter this year is sunday the 17th of april 2022 every year it changes because easter always lies on a sunday uh, so therefore it could be as early as the end of march in some years all the way to the end of april in other years so be sure to google the date of easter every year that you want to publish for it um, but this year sunday the 17th of april and essentially it's christian holiday because according to the bible this is the date when jesus sacrificed himself on the cross for humanity um so he died and then three days later he rose again from the dead um and obviously this is a very highly religious and celebrated things so the way people celebrate this is through things like easter eggs so easter eggs will be eaten by kids um, it will be hidden and then the kids will have to look around like a hide and seek for those easter eggs there's the easter bunny which is like the patron and then there's many other things as well obviously i don't have all the words for you at the type of my tongue but you can go on this word list here the link for it is in the link in the description below and basically it gives you a whole brainstorm of all the words that are associated with easter so let's go ahead and load that so I actually went to a different website for the Easter words just because the other one didn't have it. So I'll leave a link in the description below for this one. Um, this one's really good for brainstorming, you know, all the different things that happen around Easter. So things like Ash Wednesday, for example, the Easter egg hunt, as I was saying before, um, the crucifixion there, Easter service, Good Friday, Palm Sunday, Easter basket, cottontail, and all these different kind of things, Lent as well. So these are all very important words to know, especially if you're making the word searches, if you're making coloring books and stuff for Easter. So having said that, now we're going to move on to the niches that I had planned for this video. So right off the bat, we're going to get with the most impressive one that I've seen first, and it's this one right here, the Extraordinary Puzzles for Kids. And I chose this book um for a couple of reasons for 
this niche video. Um, firstly, of course, the rank is really new and the rank is already doing extremely well 65,183. The lower this number is, the better. So, if this was 100,000, for example, it'd be selling, say, two or three times a day. This is on 65,000 right there. So, that's really, really good to see. And of course, I'm filming this at the end of January. So, it's nowhere near Easter for most people. Um, and yet, this book is doing really well. So, that's a really good sign to me. The second thing is, is that it's really, really new as well. Look at this, January the 12th, 2022. It's weird seeing the year 2022 plastered all over Amazon now. Time is flying, but unbelievable that there are still a lot of opportunities for low content publishers on Amazon. It's not just people making books in 2016, 2017 that, you know, are making all the money with KDP. It's new people as well. And this book is a perfect example of it. And of course, number three is the fact that they have a range of activities on the front cover. It's a very elegantly designed cover and it's got that nice little pun here at the start, extra ordinary puzzles. So obviously with Easter, there's a lot of Easter eggs. So this pun is pretty much perfect. So I would be putting a lot of focus into books like this. Obviously, they've called it a puzzle book, um, but it can also be an activity book. But if you do look on the Helium 10 puzzle, Easter puzzle books for kids takes it a little bit over activity books. And that's probably why this author has chosen to call it a puzzle book rather than an activity book. But it technically is an activity book as it's got a range of activities as well. So you can see mazes, word search, follow the pattern, connect the dots, uh, and a few more things there. So if we just scroll down and have a look at some of the puzzles they've included. So this is one of the mazes there, nothing difficult at all. In fact, you can see that they've probably homemade it with some type of generator as the lines aren't quite aligned in that maze. So very, very simple stuff to do. This is the kind of complexity of the maze as well that people uh, probably seem to want for a book in this age range here. Um, and and of course, there's no more puzzles to be seen. But yeah, this is the first niche and this is one of the niches that I'll be doing for Easter um, and the two and this and this is a very effective age range to do it for as well, ages four to eight, essentially. And of course, just before we move on to our second niche, I want to point out something very important with the keywords. If we go ahead and look on Helium 10, this is our keyword uh, research tool that we use from Helium 10. Um, and we just filter by search volume. So the ones with the highest search volume come up near the top. Then you can see there's children's books, kids books. And the third one down the list is what I have my eye on here. So the Easter basket stuffers. Now, when you have a look at this, these are small gifts that you put in an Easter basket to give to a kid during Easter. Now, this is exactly the same as a stocking filler and all related keywords to that. So for an Easter basket, people might put cheap things in there. They're gonna be putting expensive things like PlayStation, they're gonna be putting, you know, sub $10 gifts in there. And of course, your books, my books, all your low content books are gonna be a target for those type of gifts that will go in the Easter basket. So that's um, a tip from me to you. This is a keyword you definitely want to be using because look at the search volume, 26,000 there. And when you compare it down to Easter books, for example, that's only got 3,000 at this moment in January. So that just shows you the scale of this keyword here. So you definitely want to be using this as a keyword for your Easter books. Now onto the second niche that I have for this video. This is for the more creative people out there, the more advanced people. Um, and obviously this isn't as much low content uh, but it's hard to ignore given the amount of success that these books are having and they are the children's books for Easter. Um, now I found this by typing in Easter books for toddlers um, and books like this come up. So if I click on this one, it's very interesting just to see how easy it is to make a book like this. So you click on it um, and obviously the rank right now in January is doing really, really well. 68,000 and it's still three months to Easter. Um, so there's a lot of potential if you can create a children's book. If we just click on one of these videos here, it goes to show you what it looks like on the inside. Really isn't all too difficult. If you just ignore the flaps as well, you can make the book without the flaps. Um, but you can just see that there's an illustration and essentially the plot of the book is that there's a girl, she goes with a dog, um, there's a lot of Easter eggs hidden and then she just finds, she goes into different environments to try and find these Easter eggs. So you can imagine for a toddler this would be a very, very nice book to have. It's very, uh, it stimulates the imagination in the children. Um, 
and you know it's just an overall uplifting happy book so uh that's really all there is to it look how much text there is there's literally one line uh, per page like that's all you need to add to it if you've got a decent illustrator from fiverr or artwork they could probably create something like this for you and you'd have a very good children's book for easter uh, and obviously if we have a look at the graph over time let's do all time on this one you can see in easter it goes absolutely insane so like i say it doesn't have to be a flat book um and i'm not much of a children's book publisher myself but my colleague who also does low content books is a lot more into children's books he's had a lot more success with them so if you want to know more about how to make a children's book like this one go on to this channel here the residual royalty uh, academy run by matt and go have a look at his low content society where he talks about how to make these children's books how he's made them in the past and how he's made a lot of money in them of course this is a course so you will have to buy it uh, there is a link for it in the description below and along with that you get a lot of things i think my favorite part is probably his commitment to his community that he's created around publishing especially here on discord you can see that there's a discord full of all the members in here you can pretty much ask him anything children's storybooks i'm not going to click on that for privacy reasons but if you are interested then go click in the link in the description below to go ahead and get his course now of course moving now on to the third and final niche we're going to be talking about the the easter coloring book now what's interesting to me is how recent all the top books when you type in easter coloring book are you can see here that this one for example if we just hover over it was published in 2021 2021 for this one 2020 2021 and this one here 2021 2020 2022 for this one i don't know if you saw that 2022 so literally just two weeks ago this book was published so well, guess what i'm trying to say is back to that point where new publishers are coming in publishing books and having this amount of success it's not you know people that got in early are the ones that are still eating by no means it's the people who are putting in the most work that are getting the highest rewards regardless if it and if they started publishing in 2017, in 2019, or 2021. So there's a lot of good books here. You can see the ranks, 113,000 for this top one here. Uh, and they're pretty decent considering that we are still three months away from Easter. Um, and what's also interesting is that it isn't just a kid's thing as well. There are adult coloring books that are doing just as well. If I type in Easter coloring book for adults here at the top, you can see that some of them are fetching rather decent ranks. So 113,000, 115,000 for these two top Easter ones here. And six figure ranks across the board, 515, 316, 314. So adults do enjoy it as well. I believe for adults, um, maybe it's more of a nostalgia thing, or maybe they're more concerned about the religious aspect of the whole Easter holiday whereas for kids you know they love the chocolate eggs they love the easter bunny they love the flowers and stuff like that so if you're going to do an easter coloring look then be sure to tailor you know the images that you get the reader to color to the age group for me further ways to niche down these easter coloring books as well is by doing uh, you know specific types of coloring books so sometimes i'll do complex coloring books easy coloring books um coloring books for short-sighted people so if there's a strong demand uh, for from the elderly age range for these types of coloring books and I'll do easy ones um, of course I'll do things like color by number as well that's a nice way to niche down the coloring book so if you put a coloring by number you can see that there's none up here so if you do manage to rank you as well you'd be the first coloring by number Easter book that will show up here so those are some of the ways that you can niche it down now I guess just finally let's have a look at how some of these Easter coloring books have performed in the past year so this one 2021 so we'll get to see what it did for last Easter and as you can see there it went from well it started off really low and then went straight down to 30,000 20,000 and by the time Easter came by it was hitting around 8,000. So these coloring books, again, generally making over a thousand in the month of March, probably April as well. Um, 
So these are just some of the niches that I think have a lot of potential, just looking across the board at all the Easter books. I would personally wouldn't do any notebooks, or if you are gonna do notebooks, don't make it your main focus. Because again, notebooks, you know, they might sell in small amounts, um, but they won't be selling as well as things like coloring books, the puzzle book that I showed you and those children's books. One exception may be composition books. So very, very finely, if we have a look at composition books, Easter themed composition, notebook we can see that there will probably be some that will have a decent rank on there um, 1 million 300 for this one here um, so as this gets closer to Easter let's see how let's see how one of them has performed in the previous Easter's so let's check well, this composition notebook here five five star reviews and we're just gonna have a look at the graph uh, since it was published in 2020 of how well it did over the previous Easter's uh, and yeah we can see there was a few sales over in April but you know for one of the top Easter con composition notebooks it hasn't done so well so I wouldn't make notebooks my main focus uh, I'll make the ones that I've shown you previous in this video my main focus for Easter um, so having said all that, that's pretty much everything I've had to say on my end. I hope you found this video helpful. If you do have any questions, feel free to drop a comment below. Otherwise, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Until next time, have a great day.